Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics. And in this video, I'd like to tackle the latest attacks on not net zero by the Tories as they are you knowingly using a dodgy think tank to claim that experts have said that Labour's plans aren't feasible. Needless to say, experts have said no such thing. But more than that, even if you take the claims which the Tories are pushing, it's actually an argument against their own position and their maths is too dodgy to realise it. Either that or they are deliberately lying and don't rate their voters' basic math skills. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel. So, short one today, uh, and also not in the shed, because I'm feeling as rough as a badger, very ill today. But, quick one, um, Policy Exchange, one of the dodgy think tanks which maintain very opaque funding streams, and yet somehow are allowed to claim charity status and are taken seriously by policymakers within the Conservative Party. And they've produced a report saying that Labour's plans for moving towards a low carbon economy don't add up and has been eagerly seized by the Daily Express and the Daily Mail, then gleefully shared by Tory MPs, including Claire Coutinho. Now, she is a cabinet minister, but more than that, she is the cabinet minister, she's the Secretary of State for Energy and a former employee of Policy Exchange, senior one as well. But when you read the Express and Mail articles, because you have to, well, I have to, as well as consider the claims made by Tory MPs, they fall apart really rather quickly. The main pocket of claims circulated by Tory MP Chris Clarkson is that Labour claimed their plans would cost £28 billion, but this shady think tank reckons £116 billion. Now, leaving aside the fact that this think tank bats for the fossil fuel industry, indeed, the report seems to have been funded by the fossil fuel lobby and so therefore will base all projections on the side of making low carbon look worse than it is, more expensive, less beneficial, all the usual stuff. Let us be charitable and assume the figure is accurate because the figure as quoted does not help the Tories and the figure of course will not be accurate. Labour didn't say that their plans will cost £28 billion. A, a, a policy by the way that's scaled back. Their policy was for £28 billion a year for green investment. The reason it's been scaled back is because the Tories have recently overseen an almost trebling of debt servicing costs. But the actual plans being discussed were never using up that full £28 billion even a year. In fact, most of that money hadn't even been allocated. It was intended as an available pot of money to, fall, you know, to put their shoulder behind should suitable low carbon projects come up. The actual spending plans amounted to about 10 billion pounds a year. Which brings me to the next point, because the claim is made that Labour's plans would cost 116 billion pounds over 11 years. That's what Policy Exchange says. 116 billion pounds over 11 years. Now, what happens if you get 116 divided by 11? Oh, you get 10 and a half. So it's coming, according to Policy Exchange, who are batting, remember, for the fossil fuel industry, Labour's spending plans come to £10.5 billion a year. Now, <laughs> that's way less than the £28 billion a year because, as I say, the £28 billion a year was never Labour's spending plans. It was Labour's spending plans for green investment plus an extra fund for new projects that came online that they can't possibly know about at this point. Now, should we also consider that £10.5 billion a year, which would be used to create, remember, a new era of good quality low carbon jobs, much less than the amount that Jeremy Hunt gave in tax breaks specifically for the rich? In other words, if Hunt had, instead of just cutting taxes and introducing new tax breaks, let's say he'd just arranged things to provide tax breaks instead of targeted at the rich, targeted at low to median income earners, he would have had enough investment left from his £20 billion tax cuts a year for that investment himself with change to spare. And because Hunt's tax cuts cost about £20 billion a year, the fact that this green investment is £10.5 billion a year works out very nicely. Also, so the Tories are saying, oh, this is an extra £116 billion of spending, right? No, it's not. Because the same report and the same articles reporting on it in the Mail and the Express explained that the Tories own plans, because they claim they've got net zero plans, right? Their own plans come to £104 billion over the same 11-year period. 
you know, the same period that Labour have a much more coherent plan. So that's an extra billion pounds a year. And for that extra billion pounds a year, we get more low carbon energy more quickly because the Tories have massively scaled back the time frame here. They're working on the basis they can mass, they can basically put a halt to our momentum here. And then somehow by magic in a few years time, it'll all massively accelerate. And we get a state owned energy company out of it as well, providing direct returns for the Treasury. Because we've seen what the Tories' plans are. For anything, you pick a policy. They shovel money into the trousers of the rich, who then dump it offshore. And then a few years later, when the boasted about results don't materialise, they scratch around for someone to blame for it. You know, what we've potentially got here is the last death rattle of a Conservative Party, which, if it attempts to vote, to push voter suppression um, via voter ID... Um, if that doesn't work, they could find themselves with about as much influence as the DUP after the election. The party that the Tories used and dropped like tissue paper. So they're desperately trying to do what they can to poison Labour's useful policies with time, time left available to them. Only the Tories have used up a lot of their credibility, I think, with most people. And also Labour simply can't afford to be boxed in too tightly by the Tories. You know, they are having to pay attention to the the Tory lines that have cut through but you know th they've got to have a record to stand on at the following election otherwise they might as well give up now so that's not going to happen but there we are those are my thoughts let me know yours in the comments below I hope you found the video interesting if you did please click the like button if you'd like to support the channel further the join button for memberships and until next time I'll see you later